In this video, I'm going to show you effects containers and pyro effects in Reaper. Now, effects containers and parallel effects are two of the newer features added to Reaper 7. So if you're using an older version, this behavior won't exist for you. So the guitar track set up over here. Let's hear it. And let's say you wanted to add some effects to it. Go to the track effects. Let's say you wanted to add an EQ. A compressor, a delay, and a reverb. But as you'll notice, these two effects are kind of related to each other, as these two are just based on time for delay and reverb, while these really affect the direct sound. So we might want to separate them into groups or containers. And we could do that by selecting our EQ and compression. Right click it and move the effects to an effects container. Now they show up over here. This is a container within the track effects. Let's do the same thing for a delay and reverb. Right click, move effects to container. Now we have two effects containers on this track for our EQ and compression and our delay and reverb. And we can rename them by hitting F2. to remember what they do, which will help us if you want to bypass our EQ and compression together. We could bypass it right here. We'll do the same with our delay and reverb. And also, we could open them up as a container. I could right click, go to EQ and compression, and now we just see these two effects as a group. Or we could choose delay and reverb and just see these two as a group which again, we could bypass together within here, turn off the EQ and compression or the delay and reverb to separate their effects. But it's gonna sound exactly the same. This is just meant to group things for organizational purposes, but it could also be helpful for automation. We could choose delay and reverb. Let's say we wanted to turn these effects on and off on a part of the song before we'd have to do it separately with two different envelopes. Now we could do it with one. We can go over here and choose show track envelope for bypass. And now it shows up over here. We can create some points, bring it up. Now it's bypassed over here for both effects. So if you click over here, the roll on, click over here, a delay and reverb, the entire container is bypassed. And go over here, they're back on. So it saves us that extra step as we could bypass a group of effects on and off that easily. But let's clear this. Let's check out another way we could use this. Let's go to our effects. Let's add an EQ. Let's say we wanted to compress just the top end of the guitar. We could filter out the low end, boost the top end, and then compress after this. So that tightens up the top end, but we're not hearing the rest of the guitar, which is what it sounds like when we bypass it. We're just hearing the effect. If we want to create this effect in parallel, we could select both effects, move them to a container. Let's rename this and adjust it with the mix knob for the container. Or we could run the container completely in parallel. Let's put it back to 100% wet, right click, Run selected effects in parallel with previous effects. Now we can see with these two lines, 
that this effect is running parallel to the previous effect. But in this situation, we don't have one. Let's create one with an EQ. I'll put it before, which we name it as a dummy effect. Now this effects container is running in parallel with this, or basically the dry sound. That's the dry. That's the wet. So now the wet mix knob over here is basically a volume for the effects container. So we could bring it up slowly to taste. To blend it in with the dry guitar, which is right now over here. Let's try the same thing with the low end. Let's turn this one off, add an EQ and a compressor. Let's put both of them into an effects container, give it a name. We'll run this in parallel. Let's turn this off so we're not hearing the dry sound. Go to our EQ, change this to a low pass. to just focus on the low end. Then we can compress it. And blend this with a direct sound. Put it back in, or just a wet mix knob, which is basically a volume for the parallel effects. And blend back in the high end compression. So we created two separate containers running in parallel to this effect. And as a dummy effect, it's basically the direct sound. Before, the low end, and the high end compression. So that's another use for effects, containers, and parallel effects. But we could also use this if you want to treat special effects to run in parallel. Let's delete these two. Let's say I wanted to add a delay to the guitar. Let's add re-delay, make it a half note. Let's say we wanted to filter this delay. We could add a filter. I already saved one down here as an effects chain called filter mod, which modulates this EQ. But notice it's affecting the direct sound and the delay. Let's add a phaser to this. and also a pan. I'll choose ping pong pan, just the width and the frequency. So it sounds like this. And let's add a reverb to this. But again, all these effects we've added are affecting the dry sound as well. We just want them to affect the delay. And we can do that with a container. Just select all these effects, move them to a container, and run the container in parallel with the track or this dummy effect. We'll turn off the dry sound and the delay volume could be adjusted right here. But now notice the dry sound is completely dry. It doesn't have our filter, phaser, pan, or reverb 
on it. All these effects are just happening in our container. So we name it, and we can adjust it with the wet knob right here. So our delay is filtering, phasing, panning with reverb, while the dry sound is completely dry. With none of those effects. But if we want to put the reverb on everything, we can move it, alt on the PC, option on the Mac. Now it's no longer in the container and it's on the rest of the track. So we're still going to hear it with the dry sound. Along with the delayed sound that's filtered, phased, and panned. These are just a few examples where we can use effects containers and parallel effects in Reaper 7. Again, it doesn't work in any previous versions of Reaper, but you can see how useful this feature can be. So that's pretty much it. That's effects containers and parallel effects in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!